Um, okay, you guys can already tell by the title of the video, but before we actually like dive into it, I do want to like put a few things out there. Uh, number one, I'm like so tired, so I'm gonna like sutter and like maybe I'll like take a while to like think of something to say, but just deal with it. Uh, two, it's gonna be unedited, so no like bullshit like that. Uh, and number three, oh god, it's already kicking in. Um, I'm gonna talk from a player point of view, cause you know, I mean, what other point of views do I have? You know, like a content creator pl point of view, like player point of view, they're like the same thing. You know, like I only have one point of view, but I will, I will essentially like try and play devil's advocate. Although I'm like heavily leading towards like the player's side, which is not devil's advocate, cause I'm supposed to be on like you know both sides. Um, but. Yeah, let's just get into this. So, by Juniper. Hello, Juniper. Hi, heroes. With this week's release, we've made changes to the Tier 2 Leaderboard Rewards. Please see the attached message from Bitverse leadership regarding this update. Where? Where? Is it this? Oh, fucking no. Oh, oh it's this. I'm actually brain dead. Okay. <clears throat> cool. Going forward, Tier 2 will no longer reward gems you place. These with familiar base <sighs> chest rewards, which are outlined in the attached image. Note the newly implemented tier list rewards above are subject to potential change in the future, should it be deemed necessary at the time. Okay, so here it is. If you guys want to take a look at it, uh, I don't know how I can zoom in. I mean, well, uh, yeah, so there it is. Epic, rare, common, I guess. Uh. So instead of gems, they're going to replace it with familiars. Okay. Each chest will grant tier one to tier two or or tier two familiar that fits the rarity of the chest. Meaning that if you were to receive an epic chest, you would get an epic familiar. These changes will provide new users with rewards that are more closely aligned with their needs in these tiers and are intended to encourage players to continue progressing in their bit heroes class journey okay uh we understand that these changes may not come as a as pleasant news for some members of the community okay specifically those who are in position of multiple heroes that are currently used to camp this tier for gem rewards i don't know if tier one is like can tier one camp i should know because of g charles and gauntlet never mind while we initially believed that there would only be a handful of players who would utilize the strategy and were not particularly concerned about it, as they're watching data trends for the past months, I'll see that it's become problematic. This is detrimental to the this is detrimental to the economy of the game. Okay, new players bracket who cannot get those gems anymore, which are meant to help them progress faster. Bracket, and non NFT players to whom we promise that most NFT perks will be convenient perks and not in game advantage perks to the point where it threads the longevity of Bit Heroes quest. Okay. Um, no, this is important, it is important for the broader community to understand that this decision to change the tier 2 rewards lies with us. So, the entire staff team, the devs, everybody, the hierarchy. Okay. Let's just say that. And not with the members of the community who are supported us by purchasing bid heroes. Okay, I'm, okay, I'm gonna hold on to this for a moment. I'm gonna hold on to this for a moment. This seems really sus. This seems really sus already. Okay, please don't direct frustration their way. Additionally, the RT—I don't know what the fucking RT is. Somebody like hit me up with like this—the sauce, you know, the juice with what RT means. It was not privy to this change, so we asked players who were faithful and using on Twitter, blaming them. Okay. Um, position alongside your first and you're in the salary, you mark the area. We are keenly some severe concerns. Okay, so basically, reading fuck tier two gems, you get familiar instead. Okay, uh, then are there reasons why they did it? Uh, I don't know, it seems really sus, and I'll get into that like right now, actually. So, number one. <clears throat> These changes will provide new users with rewards that are most that are more closely aligned with their needs in these tiers and are intended to encourage players. Okay, so number one, 
one problem I spot, or the first problem I spot, is this sentence. Um, new players can easily get familiars by utilizing the 200% gold slash familiar capture buff and add gore if they are mobile consistently, rendering the familiar wards from PvP and Charles and Conley completely useless. So if they watch a guide, which, uh, which I assume they will because they don't know anything about the game on like YouTube or Google or anything, they will see people like World Eater make guides, just farm shrimps and Borlin. Easy, easy. So that takes like a day or two max, right? You're not going to be there for like a week, two weeks, a month. You're just going to be there for uh, like a day or two. And then you're fucking out of like, you'll be at like tier four or something, you know? So no, this is completely and utterly useless in my eyes. And gems are so much better. And, and the reason why, I mean, it's obvious, but I'll get into that in a bit. So uh, in my eyes, com familiars are... Familiar rewards are completely and utterly useless. So this is like, no. Just, no. Actually, no. Wait. Actually, yeah, these two. These two. Not, not, not one or the other. Both of them. It's just a no. No. They have no clue what they're talking about. Mm -mm. Number two. We understand that she and Mike may not come pleasant for the community. Okay, so... Uh -oh. In addition, gems on the other hand are very instrumental in progression because of pets, accessories, special deals in the shop that can be bought with gems, augments, booze, consumables, etc. So gems will drastically help newer players into the game so long as they are directed in the right path to like using them, i.e. they can just ask in the general chat bit heroes, which I did a lot and I learned so much through them. So. Honestly, those guys, those fucking guys in there are like actual like chads, bro. Giga chads. Or they can just look online, like look up like World Leader, like one of the one of the most biggest slash consistent, not 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 one over the other, bigger biggest slash consistent bit heroes content creator out there for like advice, which the the majority of them do because he has like thousands of thousands of views on his videos. So yeah, this is complete and utter troll. They have no clue what they're talking in that section. And I don't think Juni and okay, um, I don't think Juniper typed all this up. If she did, I would be surprised. No flame to Juniper. I fucking love that brother on God. But uh No, I would assume because they said where, where, where? Lies with us? I would assume the devs and like like the higher the higher up, you know, like set this shit. And no, they are completely trolling. They have no clue what they're talking about, in my opinion at least. Okay. Next up, we understand these changes my opinion. Okay, so this part, yes. Players who have invested in Bit Heroes Quest have the right to be upset at this decision because they spent hundreds to thousands of dollars of their hard earned money into Bit Heroes, right? Whereas they could have used the money for investing stocks, real estate, their own personal quality of life improvements, going out with their friends, family, etc. So yeah, you kinda like you can What's the word? I'm just gonna use the word fuck. You kind of fucked them over, basically. Uh, I, I mean, what else? What else is there to say? I mean, I assume the context support blew up, or actually, I don't know. I would assume it did, because that's their money, man. You know, and you just like fucked them over, essentially. Okay, and uh, we're gonna hold on to like this. We're gonna like highlight that for a moment so I remember it. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, next point. This is detrimental to the economy of the game. So, not, not like... Okay, I need to like reconnect. So, not the fucking like sales and shit. Because they said of the game, they are talking about like in the game, right? So, I don't think this is like correct at all. No. No. This is incorrect. Wrong. False. Because there is no economy, and if we look up economy, uh, where is economy? Right here. Okay, let's look at the definition of economy. The wealth and resources of a country or region, uh, where in this case, they said economy of the game, so we're going to use in-game, not IRO money, we're talking in-game, right? Especially in terms of the production and consumption of goods and services, okay? 
So basically, there is no economy in this game. Because there's no trading items, currency, consumables, cosmetics, etc. Okay? So get that out of the way. They completely contradicted themselves. Uh, am I using the wrong word? I'm so fucking tired. Uh, okay, let's just roll with it. Let's just roll with it. You guys know what I'm trying to say, right? There is no economy. They are lying to people who are like... To people who are... They're not like in the groove of the game, right? I am in the group. I'm tier 20. So I like had my fair share of like content this game and there is no economy i said like four or five times now maybe three actually period okay so they're lying and if giving new players gems will enable them to progress faster then how will giving them familiars have the same or similar impact it won't be anywhere near the impact of gems due to them already having the week-long 200 percent capture rate boost and ad gores they can use if they're a mobile or if they buy it for, I don't know, however long, three, seven, or a month, right? To farm mainly Tramps of Borland. Whereas they can use the gems for accessory, pets, etc. That has already been stated earlier, all right? So uh, that, other sec that other point I talked about was this. And if there is longevity of Bit Heroes quests, no, it will not. I assume this is directed towards their sales of this. This is what they're talking about. Like, I, I can't think of another, like, way or how it will affect when there is no economy or no trading. Because the way I see it, if there's, like, an economy, right? Um, For example, like, let's take this guy, for example, right? He's, like, tier 5. I would dump all my shit or, like, a, what, my, my current loadout onto him. So, a tier 5 with tier 20 gear and shit. He is a fucking... He is a fucking force to be reckoned with, right? And he will run havoc across, like, the majority of the tiers. Like, he will, like, go fucking crazy, okay? <clears throat> so, because there's no economy, the only way I see how it affects the longevity of Heroes quest is by affecting this. And um, I'm also, like, I'm also, like, raising, like, question marks around my head, like, I have, like, so many questions. Of this and this, right? Because the longevity, like, we're supporting the game, right? Because everything is a countdown. So, like, let's get out of the way. That's like a side note, right? So, we're supporting the game by, like, purchasing NFTs. I don't know how NFTs, like, support. Maybe, like, bit heroes, like, get a share of, like, uh, of the money that we spent on bit heroes or on NFTs, right? I, I don't know any of that stuff. But what I do know is that. This and this does not add up because we're supporting through money, right? And I assume the game runs on ads because of ad gores. If they like watch ads on mobile, which I assume a lot of people do, then they switch back to PC, right? So like farm because it's easier and they use their phone for like other shit, right? Uh, I just don't, I just don't get that at all. I just don't get that. We're like supporting with our own hard earned money that we can use for other stuff. But we decide to put in a virtual video game, and all of a sudden we are threatening the longevity of Bit Heroes. So that's I have no fucking clue. Like, if somebody can tell me like why, then I'll be like, oh, okay. It's like I'm. It's like I'm like. It's like hum it, My reaction is like a human scurrying fire for the first time, right? So, uh, yeah, that's just an assumption, basically. You can take it with a grain of salt, but I don't fucking know. I don't know. This looks extremely sus, and this makes no fucking sense whatsoever. Okay, now we're going to take a look at a few content creators. Mm -mm. Hello, world leader. So, this channel will no longer be making Bit Heroes content. Okay, so let's look at the views. Okay, okay, in the hundreds, thousand, 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 two thousand, 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 thousand. Okay, let's look at popular. 10. Oh my god, look at these views. Bro, look at these consistent views. And that final decision, that, 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 that final nail in the coffin, right? Fucking like set your most consistent content creator like away. I assume because like, is it a coincidence that him, World Leader, and, and like Bitverse Andy are like really pissed? And like, they're like fed up with this shit. Like, is that a coincidence? Like, around the same time? 
What do you guys think? I'll leave it to you guys. So, um, anyways. Sorry for the bad news. This game isn't what it used to be and it seems you're heading in the wrong direction based off what I've been seeing in the last few months. Oh, bro. The, the last fucking catastrophe I experienced, or like the first catastrophe I experienced, was the 15,000 bronze coins incident, bro. Holy fuck. People were pissed. Right? We'll possibly be updating other content and very rarely my have been here, but highly doubt it. If anything else, possibly would be another new file or another game. If I miss one, if you want to, so I'm more than happy grinding, guys. Peace. So, yeah, your most beloved and consistent content creator is now fucking gone. Congrats. And he, please remember me to likes and a, and a love. So, honestly, fucking over. Did I get a third of like? Oh, no, bro. Mm -mm. And, bro, hey, you know what the worst part is? On the world leader topic, I have yet to see how this guy beat Jerry, and now he's fucking gone. Okay, that's like the only thing I'm like really pissed about. You guys fucking set them away, or set him away, you know, before I got to see how he beat Jerry's ass. Now let's take a look at um, Bid vs. Andy's video. I'll give you a like and a sub. My bad, bro. Wait, did I sub to world leader? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hold on, chat, hold on, chat. Um, I'll be so sad if I didn't sub to him. Okay, I'm subscribed. A real one, you know. All right, let's take a look at uh, some of his content, okay? Hey, what's going on, everybody? Biver Sandy here, and today we have some news about tier two camping. Especially bad news if you are a tier two camper or bought an NFT to tier two camp. So I'm just gonna jump into Discord and jump right into the news. So here I am in the Bitverse's mm -hmm. official Discord. Uh, hi, okay. heroes, with this week's message from the Bitverse, the Gut Rancher. Going forward, wait, what do you say? Wait, wait, what do you say? Here's the gut rant. <laughs> I'd never heard that before. Holy fuck! Sure. Going forward, what an innovator. tier two will no longer reward gems. What? He's pissed. Yeah, you can, bro. You can hear it in his voice more than my voice. This guy's fucking pissed. We've replaced this with familiar base chest rewards, which are outlined in the attached image. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My my thoughts exactly because because we are because new players already get like the one week at um capture rate boost, right? And if they're mobile, which I assume they are, the um they would use the ad core consistently, right? Because yeah, you know that's two hundred fifty percent capture rate given to you, right? So yeah, it's complete fucking troll. It's it's a disaster, bro. Note. The newly implemented tier rewards listed above are subject to potential change in the future, should it be deemed necessary at the time. Um, okay, um, this is like my last point, or like, a, a, a thought. Instead of like, completely outright, like, getting rid of gems, I think they should like, nerf it, right? So instead of like, the top getting 2k, they should be getting 1k. Like, like, divide all the gem rewards by 2. I think that's what they should have done. And like, See how it goes from there because tier two camping is like instrumental for progression. Let's be okay. Let's be fucking honest. Buying consumables and like all that stuff, gems in the shop, right? Like let, let's be let's keep it a hundred with you guys. Like on Wednesday, like Tuesday, Wednesday before I hear tier twenty, I I I would get like four around four k gems a week, and I would dump that shit all on chart baskets, bro. I, I I really would. Now I don't even like think of touching gems anymore. Except when I get like, what, what, I guess play like this, you know. So, yeah, it's 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 scary. It's scary as fuck, bro. You know. So he's, he's they've so taken good. away tier two. <laughs> yeah, you can hear in his voice. This guy is like, he's shocked. Like he is at a loss for words, bro. Two camping gems. I'm gonna jump in game. I haven't logged in today on my tier two camp. About 800 or 900 gems oh, shit, here comes, from PvP here comes. and 800 or 900 gems from Trial Gauntlet. Oh, you hate to see it. 70 gems. He gets a sh <laughs> Fucking useless, bro. Shrump. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he gets where the fuck that is, bro. I don't know, bro. I just one shot him and just progressed. And 100 gems there. That's normally a lot higher and i've got videos documenting what the tier 2 camping uh 
rewards should be. So I'm going to look in the PvP. I'm going to look at the rewards. Oh, you hate to see it. Oh my gosh. They gutted it. No, they just obliterated it. No, they like, if you want Dragon Ball, bro, they hakite that shit, bro. Ungodded yeah. it. They give you three epic familiars from the zone you're in. <laughs> He's in disbelief. Oh my god. Okay. He's the oh, okay. Oh no, no. He's bro. I can just like I can just like feel his like his aura. He's pissed. He's like murderous intent. <sighs> they realize that I have almost a full team of Robbies. I just need a couple more Robbies at this point. Uh -huh. Epic familiars are actually worthless to me. There you go. You heard it from the man himself. One of your other uprising content creators. Familiars are fucking useless. I said that, but to like a lesser like degree. Early in the video, right? I said that. They are completely worthless, useless, etc. You know? Because of the new because for new players, because they're dark towards new players. As you can see here. Uh new players. New right here. Right here. Yep, they are dark towards new use. They get 200% capture rate for a week, and they get 50% Adgore if they're mobile, which I assume they are, most likely. So yeah, useless as fuck. As a tier 2 camper. Um, so they've taken quite literally the best thing, gems, and just turned it into useless. <laughs> like, I don't even want more familiars and that are just epic. Points, I feel you, brother. you can still get 100 gems a week. Actually, just double um, check um, the um, 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 actually, it's 200 gems. But I'm sure it's also been gutted. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's gone forever. That's ju that's just lame. Uh, let's let's continue reading the rest of the Discord announcement. Each chest will grant one tier one or tier two familiar that fits the rarity of the chest, meaning that if you get an epic chest, you'll get epic familiar. Uh, these changes will provide new users with rewards that are more closely aligned with their needs in those tiers and are intended nope, nope, to nope, encourage nope, players nope, to continue nope, progressing nope, in their Bidira's nope, nope, quest nope, nope, journey. Nope, 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 we understand nope, these nope, changes nope. may not come as pleasant yep, news yep, for some yep, members yep, of the community, yep, yep, specifically yep, those who yep, are yep, in possession yep, of multiple yep, heroes yep, that are yep, currently yep, used yep, to yep, camp yep, this tier yep, for gem rewards. So they're aware of it, and they're just saying, you know, we don't, this is literally, we don't care about you. Like, I don't know how else to read this. Um, <laughs> He's defeated, man. He's defeated. Literally, we understand that this may come as not pleasant. <laughs> like, okay, thank you, Congregate. While we initially believed that there would be only a handful of players who would utilize this strategy, and we were not particularly concerned about it, after watching data trends for the past few months, we have observed that it has become problematic. I, I have to ask, like, what's the problem? I would assume sales. I, I, I didn't mention this. I would assume this shit, right? Because when you're spending money on tier 2 capping, you, you essentially don't need this anymore because uh, they, make, they make it back in terms of, like, value, right? So they just make back gems over time. And then after that, after they reach the threshold of, like, producing a, a, a gems equal to the amount that the NFT was bought for, you know, that's when they like start profiting. Is a so, yeah, it just affects sales. Problem that uh, I, assume, I assume, I assume, I assume. Problem that we're I assume. fun with it. Like that sucks. This is detrimental to the economy of the game. Like what economy? There's no market. There's no trading. <laughs> it's just. <laughs> I know what the economy is. It's it's people buying gems. This is detrimental to people buying gems from them. No. No, 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 no. They said of the... Wait, did they say two? Yeah, the fuck? Of, yeah, of the game. So they're talking about the game. They're not talking about like... No, if, they're, if, they're, if they say of the game, they're talking about everything like in the game, within the game, not like outside. No, no external factors, no like IRL money, anything. It's just in the game, right? So, no. No, they can't fucking use like... They can't fucking use sales and all that shit. They can't not. It's just not how it works. Which, like, they're a business, I get it, but people bought NFTs to tier camp. So, like, I, I've spent the most money in this game on NFTs. Wait, 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 wait. 
He said that with such I want. He said that with such confidence. I want to know how much money he made. Or uh, not? Fuck. My bad. I want to know how much money he spent. Okay. Um. We'll, we'll keep going for like another minute or two, because this is like gonna be like half an hour or some shit if I don't like wrap it up. So yeah, we'll keep going for like a bit. Quite literally, like ninety nine percent of the money I've spent on this game is in NFTs because I could tier camp. With this being pulled away, you're gonna lose people like me spending money. All right, they lose fucking customers because because they said where where is it where is it that they said and not with members of the supporters are purchasing yes so based off this alone we support the game or like we support those people i'm just gonna say those people i was like i was like you know you got you guys catch what i'm saying right we support those people with nfts and because of this you are heavily gonna lose customers valuable customers valuable loyal customers by gutting tier 2 Kevin because that's the whole purpose of tier 2 Kevin the vast majority of players who bought an MT tier 2 Kevin and now that's gone you just lost a shit ton of like income or like where the fuck sales for NFT uh, despite the rewards despite where the fuck rewards they give in the future uh, I don't know I don't know but as of right now they completely like made tier 2 or they completely made nfts completely worthless nearly worthless actually let me say that let me rephrase so i just don't see this uh new players who cannot get those gems anymore which were meant to help them progress faster okay hold on hold on they're saying this is detrimental to the economy this is detrimental to new players and detrimental to non-nft players to the point where it threatens the longevity of bit heroes quest wrong wrong because there's no trading, this shit does not apply. None of the supplies. And Thrones of Longevity Bit Heroes, as I said, fucking sales. So no, they're wrong. They're fucking wrong. Because one's a, one's progression does not affect another's progression. Right? We can all agree on that? One's progression does not affect another's progression. It's It's just a fact. It's just a fact. And if you argue with that, I you you must be like a brain dead TikTok consumer. Like there's no other way to like put it. Wow. The only point in here that makes sense is right here. They promised to non NFT players that the NFT perks would not be in game advantages. But like if you watch my video on on all you need to know about NFTs, like there's huge advantage to NFTs. I don't, I don't know how they could have possibly promised that their <laughs> most of the perks were not advantages. Oh wait, he, wait, this guy's kind of speaking facts true, right? Wait, this guy's actually speaking facts true. <laughs> wait, 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 wait! I kind of overlooked this. I kind of overlooked this. Uh, oh, holy fuck! That's actually like facts true there. Uh, it's pure advantages. Plus. Non NFT players were also tier camping tier two because they would save up thousands or dozens of thousands of gems to get their first legendary pets and accessories, get themselves a mount, and then they would go up in the tiers after that. You have That's killed true? that strategy altogether for non NFT players. Okay, moving on. I mean, that's if the that's if they did research beforehand before like actually playing the game. I'm um, speaking. Like, in the POV of a new player, right? But, like, if they do do that, they would just progress, like, normal, like, it's tier 3, tier 4, then, um, you know, they can't utilize that strategy. But only only if they did research beforehand, like, intensive research before actually playing the game for the first time, then they'll know. But, yeah. It's important that the broader community understand that the decision to support us, I want you to be mad at the NFT Andes are not privy to this change. So we asked the players... Are I thought this is this is concerning to me. The roundtable was made for the community to be represented. Here we read. Wait. Uh, hang we on. Understand hang that on. these may not become on, be chat. pleasant for the community. Here we read that. Um, Wait. Oh, that means the roundtable met. Oh, that's what it means. Okay, I, I catch the drift now. I got you guys. I know the sauce. It's all good. The, 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 the community wasn't even represented. The roundtable was not privy to this change. Like, 
Wait, what the fuck was the point of the round table? You guys fucking sold them out, no? You guys fucking robbed them of their opinion. The fuck is this? I mean, if I was there, I would say, like, divide the gem rewards in, like, two, you know? Or divide it in half, yeah. Then we can see how it goes from there. But, like, they just... Oh, they just... There's no point, they're just... They're not the round ta table, remember? They're just fucking regular players, bruh. The fuck is this? What is this fraudery, bruh? Yes, I came up with that word on the spot. Deal with it. Please, listen to the community. Listen to the round table. I... I... I don't know whether the round table would have changed things. And content creators too. Content creators, rise up, brothers. Oh, God. Or thought otherwise, but I think it's... I, I love the idea of the round table. It's the community's voice. Some of the top players. And they didn't use it. You know, of course, of level course. 1000s and stuff. People that have played the game the most are in the round table. They are, you know, they're champions and knights of the round table. They're supposed to represent us, stick up for us. Oh God, brother, preach! Bad. Yeah, it's crazy to think that <laughs> a change like this that impacts so many people, that impacts everybody who tier two camps was just not even brought up to them or ran past them. I mean, this is just uh, this is something they sh they have to run by the round table. They need a community voice on this. They don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck about us. I don't give a fuck about no content creators, world leaders fucking gone. I don't get to see how he beat fucking Jerry's ass in. Like, and also, like, uh, I don't know. They don't care about the rent. I don't know. I mean, this isn't the first time they did something, like, catastrophic, you know? But I, I, I feel like they're, like, really self-centered. They don't really give a fuck. I, I feel like, based on, what, based on what I'm hearing from Andy, you know? Um, if you're asking for my opinion, it's like, I don't. I think they should have like held it off for another week or two. Not not because we can like farm gems for another week or two, but like they they need to like make sure they don't like upset like their most valuable players. You know, the ones that actually invest money into the game. That's just my opinion. Yeah. Okay, we'll keep going for a few more minutes. You know, before it gets like long. If you are in position of an NFT and no longer satisfied. Please remember that these are player-owned assets and can be sold. <laughs> wow, they really just said, we have no solution for you, but you can get rid of your NFT. Okay. He's um, He's He's gotta be we're still working on delivering outstanding perks, but also understand this may change may affect your desire to remain in possession of them. Yeah, pretty much the only reason I have more than one NFT is tier camping and this just rocked it this just gutted it we are keenly aware that some of our more savvy players raised turns early on that i heard that oh so people told them about tier camping okay ah uh, we got a snitch in the community which motherfucker is it <laughs> we should have more closely heeded their concerns and we really regret immediately not recognizing the validity of their concerns. This is an important lesson for us, and we will be doing all we can in the future to avoid such scenarios from coming to pass. Didn't they say the same thing about, like, the, the 15k bronze coin currency thing? Is this, this, this shit's, like, reoccurring. Like, every month? Every few months, there's, like, a problem. It's, like, the scenario that know. came to pass... At, le at least that's my opinion, because... I've I've I started playing in February this year, like February first, right? So uh, March, April, May, June, July. I'm like playing four and a half months now. Uh, I feel pretty experienced, so you know, I kind I kind of fuck with this guy, you know. I feel him. I feel I feel him. Was people got gems? Like this is not like the game. The, there's no bugs. There's no rollbacks. There's no errors or anything. It's literally, they just don't want us to earn gems like that. <laughs> like, come on. I feel like... I've played lots of games. I've I played lots of games. I'm a gamer by heart, right? But uh, to allow something like that to exist for so long, I'm being completely honest, if... Um, it should it should never be in the game, right? And if it's there for a, 
an X amount of time, and then you remove it like after that X amount of time where people are like using it, that's when like problems arise. But if they like outright did it like day one, day zero, no problems. But but people like World Leader are he's gone. And then Andy is like really pissed. I don't know if he's gonna quit or not, but I need to like watch the rest of the video. If you have feedback to share with us, please when sharing feedback, you're welcome to be candid and for the Discord. And I'm only here one hour after the post and the most <laughs> react. <laughs> and I'm only here so if needed. We ask that you only follow the Discord rules in doing so, and all feedback will be shared with the Biver's leadership. <laughs> And I'm only here one hour after the post, and the most <laughs> reactive is <laughs> Omega kicked up. <laughs> wait, wait, can I, can I see who did it? Wait, wait. <laughs> wait, wait, where's World? I want to see World, bro. I want to see World Leader. Hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> Holy fuck, people are pissed, bro. Boy, it's still the most. You know what? I'm gonna add there. Just just for the memes, right? W, which I'm gonna hit. Yo, <laughs> there's even roundtable members hitting it. This is this is bizarre. And then they hit us with this. It's not bizarre, man. Catastrophic. Calamity. Those are the words that should be used. The <laughs> uh, literally is from right now. Because the whole reason I have this NF character. I mean, I don't have time to play a full character, uh, a third full character like that. You know, running through regens already takes hours every day. I can't add more hours. <laughs> um, that's insane. Like, your two camming video that this could happen. It's really unfortunate that it did happen. Um, I have a feeling that there's going to be a lot of NFT sales. Crash. Okay. Okay. Price might crash. If you're looking for an NFT. Yeah. Now might be the time. Um, but it's hard to see. See, but it's hard to say. Like, it's a good price for an NFT because they just lost their biggest. In my opinion, the biggest reason to get an NFT was for the gem income at tier two. Awards should be. So I'm gonna look in the PVP. Oh shit. Oh. This is my tier one camper. We're going to see if the rewards here are... Oh, cool. Air. Speaks for rewards. They snuck it in. Wait, what? I'm, you know, I'm not even mad. Like, uh... So, okay, here we are. But I'm getting familiars. They literally did it for last week's rewards. They snuck it in. What? Before the... Bitches! Uh... <laughs> So I, <laughs> they didn't just say, you know, screw you next week. They said, screw you on this last week of grinding as well. <laughs> wow. So here I am getting common familiars. I mean, thanks for the boo-boo and baddie instead of 800 gems. <laughs> like, come on. That's just not equal. Whatever. Um, I guess they did it to tier one as well. A little. I'm just going to double check. Yeah, they did it to tier one as well. Okay, so nobody's safe. Nobody's safe. Um, it doesn't even mention that in the Discord announcement, but that's fine. We checked it. Tier 1 is also gutted of the PvP gems. So what am I going to do with this with this character? I don't know. There's... <sighs> the gems I can get a, a per week... Went from almost a thousand to what a hundred if I play every day and I get ranked well. Uh, I usually don't get that that one hundred. It's it's you know you saw me get the forty. Oh man, that is pretty disappointing. You know they take away first they take away big gores in the boost box. Oh right, they brought wait. Oh my god, I completely forgot they did that. Then they take away gems from tier 2 campers. 
you know, I'm not even mad at just like a personal level, but like a community wide level, because I have shown players on my channel how to tier two camp. I have suggested to players that they buy NFTs to tier two camp. My viewers, the Bitverse Andes, have gone out and spent hundreds to maybe thousands of dollars buying NFTs for the sole purpose of tier two camping to earn gems. And now what? That's all stripped away. Okay, so he he's it's like he feels like it's his fault that they spent money, their hard earned money, right? I, I don't know if I can relate to that, but that must be like a really bad feeling, you know. I miss I, I did I mislead my my audience? I don't know. No, you did. no, Andy. If you're watching my video, you did not. Uh, there you had a hunch, but let's be real. Let's keep it a hundred because tier two camping was like here for like I don't know. If a, I don't know if it was here for like a long time, but like for quite a while. No, nah, it's not. It you. It's not your fault. It is not your fault, Bid versus Andy. Let's just keep it 100, okay? Not your fault. You did everything you could. You guarded them the right way at the time. But, like, now time things have changed. And all of a sudden, like, not only you, but everybody else is fucked, including me. So, uh, no. It's not your fault. You had no way of knowing. You, you had no access to, like, the, like the higher-ups of, of Congregate. Um, not even the round table had, like, connections to them so there's no way you would have ever known so no it was not your fault you know that's that's a crappy scenario to put me in not your fault not your fault don't fucking listen to these shitty haters but if there are any you know i fuck with you uh, he's he's the savage uh maybe i can find him on my friends list here yeah all these name name 12 name 13 name 14 he's got 20 nfts what okay Okay, uh, I'm gonna use Canadian because I'm gonna use uh, Canadian money for this because uh, I spend money. On, um, I'm Canadian, so I have to like use a bit more. One sixty times twenty. No shot. This I, I'm, a, I'm This is me just assuming commons, bro. If, if it was like a rare, epic, or even higher, that's even more. No shot. They fucking gutted him. Wow, that is like an asshole move to do. Wow, holy fuck. Click on one of them, tier two. Every single one of them is a tier two camper. You know why? Poor guy. It's for gems. Poor guy, man. Do I think that this person would have bought those 20 NFTs to tier two camp if they didn't get gems? No. Uh, wow. That's gut wrenching to them. I would, okay, let, okay, I'm going to keep 100. I would assume, because we only, I only saw most, I didn't see all. Of that guy's NFTs, he maybe could have a rare and epic. I would assume that's thirty five hundred, three thousand five hundred Canadian dollars down the fucking drain. And now their value has plummeted to like what, a few dozen bucks? I don't know. Wow, the value drop is in, in immeasurable. I feel so bad for that guy. Their entire I strategy know. was just whooshed away on the wind on a whim without even with without even talking to the round table you know i'm sorry for anybody who had to follow had followed my advice um you know i shouldn't be taking responsibility for for this because it was the best strategy in the game to earn gems it's not your fault i'm gonna say it. i'm gonna keep saying it until the end of time it's not your fault don't worry you had no way of knowing this was gonna happen you had a hunch I think I vaguely heard you say something like that. But like you had zero way of knowing. You had zero way of knowing this actually could happen. So no, it is not your fault. And you can take that to the fucking bank. Oh god, brother. I fuck um, with you. And it sucks. I fuck with you, broski. I shared it. And now people in my community are getting hurt from it. So <sighs> I guess you know, Congregate just hates rewarding players. Um definitely sucks. When I'm playing them, I'll probably keep leveling them up. Getting them in better position because um, I I know that there's gonna be some players that take their <laughs> part of he has a legendary that's fucked tier two campers and tear them up because that's what's fucked. the point in staying anymore? Um, 
And, you know, maybe I'm just coping and hanging on to hope here too much that it'll get turned around. But I'd recommend, you know, I mean, I just don't want anybody to end up with a tier three person with a tier three hero and then this get overturned. So <clears throat> that's fucked. That that actually be the most fucked up thing if that happens. Wow. At least in the short term, I would recommend just hanging on to your tier two camper. Um this point and this field so I'm <laughs> okay he's basically done he's defeated bro uh so yeah that's me reacting to his video and to uh holy shit I, I feel for him that's me reacting to him and uh I'm here to give my input and I did so so yeah that's about it for today's video it's unedited so honestly uh, I don't know if I should leave times, but I will link their channels in the video description below. Uh, highly recommend you guys go check them out. I don't talk to any of them. I don't fucking know them. But I do know that they are good people. And it, it is worth your time to like go check them out, you know? So yeah, that's all for today's video. And RIP Tier 2 Camping, I'll see you guys later. Peace. Did I even do that right?